Howdy all. Welcome to another episode of Jedi TV. I'm your host Jed. I'm here with Miss Jessica and we're in Medford, Oregon at our old house and we thought we'd give you all a tour of the old house and talk about some of our memories from our time here. We spent 20 years at this place. Mm -hmm. So with that said, I'm going to turn the camera over to Jessica. I'll keep one and we'll give you guys a tour of the house. Are you ready? Ready. Let's do it. Like I said, we've been here 20 years. We bought the house in 99? No, 2000. No, we, we bought the house in 2000. Mm -hmm. Here's one thing that I'll tell you. Every year that I tell you, I will probably be one year off. For example, I insist that this house was built in 1964. When was it actually built? 62. It was built in 62, you, see? You, but, but until now, you've always said 63. Oh. So you just upped it one more year. I was hoping you'd go 63 and agree with me finally. Nope. At any rate, 1962, we've been here since 98. 20 years, a lot of memories. Take us inside. This place hasn't been as vacant in 20 years. Right? Yeah. We've done a lot of work to this place. Yeah. Lots. And one of the things that appealed to us when we first bought the place, uh, not only was it the layout, but it was these gorgeous hardwood floors throughout. The whole thing is a real hardwood floors. I mean, except for where we put linoleum, um, which we've done in the kitchen and in the bathroom. Okay, so what have we done? Fireplace insert. We put the gas insert in, yeah. We okay. replaced the furnace. We did, we replaced this furnace. Now, this is an interesting story. This furnace is the only source of heat in the house. We used a couple of space heaters occasionally in bedrooms, but for the most part, that furnace is where anytime we'd get out of the shower, especially Logan and I, we'd find ourselves huddled around that. Um, as a matter of fact, I think Logan spent a lot of time growing up in front of that heater. Yeah, it was still obviously the I think warmest. They, well, they all did. All I mean, of Kyra did too. All I mean, of the kids. Yeah. That's where they laid. Right. That's true. <laughs> they would fight over the spot. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we did replace that, but that was originally here, just not in. It's just new. Yeah. Okay. So for years we battled it. What's that? For years we battled it to stay on. Yeah, right. Yeah, because the pilot light would blow out. Right, and, and then we'd have to sit and wait and try to relight it and relight it and relight it and right. relight it. So we replaced it just a couple of years ago. Yep. Right. Yeah, just in time for us to move. Okay, down the hallway is the bathroom. That would be the most recent. We did the remodel in here. Uh, the floors, new toilet with a push button top on it. That's kind of cool. Logan misses that feature. Uh, new sink and vanity. Yeah, we did the works in here. Looks good. Now, uh, we told you before, this also doubled as where the, the washer and the dryer was. In the, in the new place, we, we joked about that because we would always put our towels in the dryer right here. And then when we'd get out of the shower, they'd be nice and toasty warm, so. No more towels. No more warm towels. But it's okay. There's sacrifices and trade-offs. All right, let's go back to this bedroom here because this bedroom has some interesting stories. Why don't you tell us, Jessica, how, how kind of the, the beginning of this? So let's see, when we first got this house, it was Michelle's room. Mm -hmm. And then Michelle moved out and it became the workout room and the guest room. Right. And then it became Kyra's room when we had Logan. Right. She moved out of that room to, into this room. Right. And so it's been multiple different colors. When Kyra had it, the walls were almost a, a black. So it was white when Michelle was in here. Right. Was it then Kyra painted it or did we paint it between then? I don't remember. But then Kyra painted it black with purple stripes. Right. Flat black. Yes. With satin purple stripes. That was fun to paint over. No, it wasn't. <laughs> so this is kind of cool. Uh, so when it was Michelle's room, 
and she painted it. Um, she had Michelle, or Michelle had Kyra put her handprints there. And, uh, well, I don't know. I don't know that Kyra's hands have grown much past that. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't nice. Okay, so anyways, a lot of history in this room. Moving on. This, believe it or not, is the very small master bedroom. Right, the master bedroom. Yeah. So, um, really, once the once the king bed, which was about where you're at. Well, uh, it started about here. Right. And went to almost the door. Right, because it so. covered that the end of that space heater. Yep. So there wasn't a whole lot of room for anything else in here, and I might have some pictures of it. If I do, I'll post them right up in here somewhere. And that very tiny closet. Yeah. So this was originally your closet. Right, until we, until we turned the other room into the cloth Right. After Kyra moved out. Yeah, when and Kyra moved came. out, we turned it into the cloth partially so she would not come back. <laughs> so there wasn't enough room on the floor to sleep in. <laughs> right. Just kidding. Everybody knows Kook is welcome back. Always. Oh, I'll edit that part out. Okay, so yeah, master bedroom, uh -huh. moving on. Okay, so this room, originally Kyra's room. Yes, when it was, uh, first it was baby pink. Right. When she was one. Right. Then it was SpongeBob room. Right, the SpongeBob room. And if, again, if I have pictures, we'll pop some pictures in this episode of when, when it was a SpongeBob room, because that was pretty creative. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Then Logan came in here and he wanted pirate room. Pirate theme, because that was his big thing that year. That was the year he chose our Halloween costumes. Mm -hmm. And we all went as pirates. He was, he was pirate crazy. As a matter of fact, he still has, in his current room, he still has the pirate chest that your father, Papa Garver, uh, built for him. Yeah, but he had the pirate room until he was 15, so. Right, yeah, not that he wanted it. You just didn't want to remodel it. I did not. That was a pain in the butt. Striping that half of the room Yeah. was not fun. But So once we did it, though, um, he went with this kind of a blue-gray, almost a teal-gray. I know it's hard to tell on an yeah, iPhone. It's more like a, a granite slate gray and a charcoal with a charcoal trim, and then he had all of his LED lights. And again, We only he, did that a few months ago. Right, but I know he has some pictures, so when I find them, I will post them somewhere right around in here. Okay. Yep. Moving on. Jessica. Moving on. Let's go. Here, you lead the way. Take us to the kitchen. The kitchen dining room. So our table, that we have now at the house that was that used to be in here without the leaves filled this entire space yeah we could not if we put all the leaves in it it actually went into the furnace so we only ever could put one leaf in it for anybody who came over for dinner but we so. still managed some great parties yeah and Thanksgiving, countless Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. countless things, get, or Christmas dinners, Thanksgiving dinners, mm -hmm. um, great Halloween parties. Um, yeah. Yeah. So basically, a lot of cooking in that tiny kitchen. Yeah. Very tiny. Very tiny kitchen. <laughs> we bumped into each other a lot in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, pretty much a one person in the kitchen. <laughs> right. And I mean, even if some if, if someone was in there cooking, another person came in just to empty the dishwasher, it, it was kind of cramped. But I, I think the benefit of that, if I was going to say anything, is that we were, and still are, it, it created a close family and a close environment. So I wouldn't necessarily say that living small was a bad thing, Am I happier now that we've got more space in the kitchen and we can move around more freely? Yeah, but I think that this was this was good for us and we certainly made the best of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so moving on. Now, here is a room 
that all of my Jedi TV viewers are familiar with because, well, here, frame me in the shot. This is where I filmed a lot of episodes of Jedi TV. Howdy all you cowboys, cowgirls, gunfighters, and gamblers. Welcome to this week's episode of Jedi TV. I'm your host, Jed, and that was it. This was the wall where all of that went on. And I just recently did a tour of this room on uh, YouTube, and I will post a link to that tour up in here on screen now. So, and you'll see the closet in that one. Nothing thrilling there. Hi. This, of course, was my reloading room. As you can see, the bench has been pulled out because that was the special bench that River Dog built for me. So it's going into the new place, but I've left a few of the other features behind. It's got the great utility sink, counter to work with, and a small little gun cabinet up there. That, believe it or not, is the house in a nutshell. How about a quick tour of the outside? So, Jessica. Yes, Jed. Tell us what we've done here. Wow, what have we what, what haven't we done? This was a four foot dilapidated fence when we bought the place with the barn in the backyard. Right. And now we put in the they raised the the ground level in the back, so we put in a retaining wall and then put in the uh, fence so that we had a higher fence back here so that we they have a six foot fence and we have an eight foot fence so we right. don't have to see the backyard neighbors anymore we put all new landscaping in right we put in two of those sheds over there right in his and her sheds right like we have his and her bathrooms now yes <laughs> so that was the she shed and yeah the Jed Shed. Which was originally made so that the Ural could go in there. Right, Raven. That was Raven's stall mm -hmm. originally before I sold Raven. Yep. I sometimes miss that bike. Okay, and so plenty of parking, plenty of work that we've done to the backyard here. This is where the, uh, the bat van was parked here often and uh, the GTO was parked there. Of course, way over there was the Jedi van, and then I'll take you over onto the other side where there was some RV parking. Which we didn't have the gate to the back either when we first moved in here. That was something that we had put in so that we could, so the Jedi van could get out. Right, and all of that was done by our friend Marlon Stockton, mm -hmm. who built this entire fence and the, the custom gates and everything he welded up himself and it's it's absolutely gorgeous and has stood the test of time as you can see so last but not least this is rv parking and that's all i have for this episode um we're just gonna take 20 years of memories and head up to Washington and make a whole bunch more. Yeah. So thanks you all for joining us on this episode of Jedi TV. I'm your host, Jed. I'm Jessica. And we'll see you in some other place. In some other time. Thanks for watching.